What's going on guys? I know I am probably the most inconsistent YouTuber that you are subscribed to and for that I apologize. I apologize so greatly. I wish I was better at this. I really really do. I just I don't know. I suck at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> A little update for you guys on Sophie. Sophie has been in the shop since March 16th. She had a check engine light before my tire blew out. The check engine light was for a faulty or broken or triggered fuel temperature sensor. I was having some issues with my oil pressure gauge not working. Those were already issues I needed to address and then I had my tire blow out which happened March 16th about. And with the tire blowout came damage to my front fender, my side skirt, and obviously I need a new tire. So I've sort of just left the car there to let the shop kind of help me with my problems. We were waiting for tires for a while, so I think the car should be done this week. I can't promise anything. I really don't want to rush anybody. I just want the car back when it's ready and it's perfect and I can boost again. But until that happens, I'm gonna be patient and I will let you guys know, I will definitely film a video about picking Sophie up. I feel like a video about Sophie is long overdue, so that will be next, I promise. A lot of you guys know I was at Wrench ADM recently and I got to drive the R34, the Supra, and a lot of other cool cars that they had available there. And today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Mazda AutoZam AZ1, which is a mid-engine key car, which is so cool. I've never actually been in one of these cars. I've never had the opportunity to drive one. This car, after I drove it, I did a little research and I'm like, why is this car a little bit more expensive than the rest? Why have I never heard of it? Why is it a little bit more rare? So I did a little research and found out that this car wasn't actually that popular. When it was made, it was competing against a lot of other cars and it was deemed too cramped and too expensive for the time period. Japan was also going through a recession at the time the car was produced, so it really wasn't an ideal time to produce a car. I think it was selling for around $12,000 when it first came out. There was less than $5,000 actually produced. Deuce. So I learned a little bit about this car after I drove it and uh, I really really do like this car If you guys get the chance to go to Wrench ADM, please make sure you check out the Mazda AZ1 You might look at it and be like I don't want to drive that thing. It doesn't look too exciting. I've never heard of it I don't know what it is, but as you'll tell from this video It had a lot of kick Wrench ADM did a couple things to the car. So it sounds amazing It's got a lot of booze for the little little tiny capsule that it is and overall I just had a really fun time with the car. Honestly, don't overlook it when you go. If you have a little bit smaller budget, I think this one will be a little cheaper to rent too. So definitely up there with best bang for your buck. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, positive comment. <laughs> but yeah, let's just jump right into it. Like nothing. The gas. 
the clutch and the brake are so close together. I'm just letting you know I might hit both of them at the same time <laughs> at some point. We're gonna be. <laughs> oh my god, he was right. There's lots of noises. This thing is crazy.
drive this and not have fun. You know what I mean? Like this is just So that pretty much sums up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being patient. I have new merch coming soon, very, very soon. We're in the design process and um, a lot of cool stuff happening soon. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for this quarantine to be over and I'm excited to go to car shows and be around people again. So if you guys enjoyed it, thank you so much. Leave a comment, subscribe, do your thing. I love you guys. It was seriously such a, seriously seriously show great but today i had to get ready for something else so i put i was like i'm gonna film a video since i already did all this if you um if you um um if you um use tiktok i use tiktok is it even a video if papa isn't in it papa he's so cute <laughs>